Greetings YouTube. This week's bargain video will once again begin outside where we have a hanging planter because my wife would like to, you guessed it, hang some plants. We bought that at a thrift shop. I think it was six bucks. Came with the liner and everything. So she was quite happy with that purchase and it makes her happy. I'm happy. Um, then we have some uh, car ramps. These are rhino ramps. Uh, good for 12,000 pounds apparently. Um, and I don't think anyone ever used them. They were asking seven bucks for them and I got them for five. So all I need to do is get, make myself a couple chocks, which I can just use scrap two by fours for, so that the back wheels, when you're, well the wheels you're not using, um, will not roll. Even though you're gonna put your emergency brake on, you don't want it rolling if you're gonna be under your vehicle. And uh, I don't do a lot of car stuff, but I would like to do more car stuff. And having a pair of these will make the car stuff a whole lot easier. Uh, particularly when they're in this kind of condition and they cost me all of five bucks. More outside footage because I don't want to bring this stuff inside. Um, so I stopped at a guy at a, at a garage today. Well, the guy had a really large garage full of all kinds of stuff. And uh, he was trying to get rid of a lot of it. And I felt bad because he had some things that I would love to pick up. I just had nowhere to put them. I mean, some really large pieces of equipment and some stuff. Just great pieces of tools and table saws and drill presses and all kinds of stuff and he was looking to lose it but didn't have the money nor the place to put it at the moment but he did have some things I did want for example I got these four pieces of threaded rod these three here which are all in the three to four foot range and then this big big six foot piece and he also had these three five millimeter solid steel bars I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet but they're solid steel they're in really nice shape and I paid five bucks for all um, seven of these items. So I was, I was quite happy with that deal. That, were, that was that quite nice. And then we got a hoe for my wife, which is got this triangular head. It's flat on the bottom, it's got a rectangular shaft. It's, uh, is it, what is it called? A, uh, a rogue, it's called a rogue. How do you like that? For all you gamers out there, it's called a rogue. Um, and it's designed for getting under bushes and things and, and along the ground and it's in nice shape It was still wrapped in plastic a little bit to me a touch of rust on there But nothing to be too concerned about and the edges are sharp and it's the kind of thing that um, I Can uh, I can sharpen up quite easily if it gets dull. That's a bit it's a chisel grind. So that's easy to fix So we picked that up for seven bucks brand new oak shaft long handle And in fact, you're probably using it today because she has some weeding to do um, But yeah, it was a really nice deal um, so, next part of the footage will be indoors. Greetings YouTube, time for another bargain video. So a local gaming store, um, Myriad Games in Manchester, New Hampshire, was having a clearance sale, and their sale was buy one clearance item, get two free. So I bought some gaming books. I got uh, Apocalypse, Apocalypse Prevention, uh, Incorporated. I never did never had a physical copy of this book. Um, I picked up um, Alethea and Azamar, two A names I just noticed. Uh, Player's Guide, which is the role playing core rules. Um, and I picked up those three books for 12 bucks. And then I went back the next week, so I just wanted to see if they had anything I'd missed. And I picked up Shroud of the Ancient Role Playing Game, The Adventurer's Guide to the World of um, Tarath premium edition um, Chromebook 3 and 4 which I pur purchased just because I needed Chromebook 4. I actually own a copy of 3. I'll probably keep 3 because it's a original um, but I never had 4 so now I've got 4 and the bestiary of Kryn because who can't use a bestiary even if it is Dragonlance and I got those 3 books for $23. That was a pretty good deal still. Um, this is a module for the Mutant Epoch game um, and this was sent to me by the um, the author, William McOxlin, as a uh, review copy. So I paid nothing for that. That's the Flush Weavers Adventure TM, uh, TME3 for 6 to 8 second to 4th rank characters. Um, I'm almost done reading that. I shall have a review up in the near future. Then we have a book from the British Museum Press. Uh, the Hero King Gilgamesh by Irving Finkel. Um, and I bought that for my nephews. It's a little advanced for them at this moment, but it's got some nice illustrations. It's got some nice pictures of artifacts from that era. And um, 
Gilgamesh is one of the original mythic stories, so I think they should have some references to it. Um, then we have Lies My Teacher Told Me and Reviving Ophelia, which I purchased specifically to give away to people. I always keep copies of Reviving Ophelia, and just two weeks ago I gave away my last two copies. So now I have, this is a replacement copy, so I have another one on hand to give away, and I'm looking for new copies. This is a book that every woman should read, and every parent of a, of a daughter needs to read this book. Um, this is the book that I've been looking for the male version for helping teenage boys to be, uh, to be raised in a healthy way, and I've never found it. I'm looking for something of this quality, and it's always failed. Um, but Reviving Ophelia is one of the greatest, flat out one of the greatest nonfiction books I've ever read. Um, then we have The Immortal Iron Fist, the last Iron Fist story. Um, and we also have The Immortal Iron Fist, The Seven Capital Cities of Heaven. Um, and I picked these up at a thrift shop for six bucks, two of them. And they're normally 18 apiece. So that was a pretty good deal. Um, on to more media. Naked Eggs and Flying Potatoes. I'm, um, Unforgettable Experiments That Make Science Fun by Steve Spangler. I bought that for my nephews. Uh, Grimm's Grimmest. Uh, direct fairy tales from the Brothers Grimm. I bought that for my wife. It is, I believe... Yes, it's also illustrated. Um... And she's an appreciator of illustrated books. So I picked that up. I think I paid a dollar for that at a, year at a thrift shop. The Sixth Wives of Henry VIII. Um, that one is for me. Um, always looking for a little bit of history. And I'm a sucker for um, the opulence and insanity of royal families. Then we have some DVDs. <coughs> well, discs, I should say. Because some of these aren't DVDs. Heath Luzzer's The Order. Um... Which is interesting because the cover is actually a painting. I thought that was kind of an, an interesting design choice. Um, I haven't seen it. I've heard it was all right, um, and it's a Heath Ledger film, and I think he was a really talented actor who, unfortunately, is no longer with us. Um, then we have the best of Car Talk, and second best is a two CD set, which is uh, like two solid hours of Car Talk. If you folks have not ever listened to uh, this program, you need to use cars. Uh, used calls from Click and Clack, the Tappet Brothers. Um, they were a pair of brothers that did a car um, info show on NPR. One of them passed away not long ago. And uh, just incredibly funny and very informative. Just nice guys. Um, very enjoyable. They still play them, the older episodes on NPR. Um, Paul Newman's Slapshot, a film I've never seen, but I've heard, heard, heard good things. Uh, Disney's 101 Al Dalna Dalmatians, the Platinum Edition. Batman's The Man Who Would Be King. Uh, but would be Bat, would be King. Huh? Um, Barnyard, never seen that one. Uh, the Fox and the Hound. And Meet the Robinson, I've never seen that one either. And I pick up those five animated films for a buck a piece at a yard sale. Um, I have a pair of set of hand weights. They're uh, five pounds a pop. My wife suffered a minor injury recently, so she's been trying to get back into the exercise thing, and this is uh, going to help her do that. I think we paid four bucks for a set of solid steel um, hand weights. That's not too bad. And then we have a couple of bells. This one, unfortunately, looks like a bear that's being given a bell enema, but it had a nice tone to it. And this is a pear bell. Not the best tone, but we have an apple and a pineapple, so, you know... Now we have a pair. We have a Portuguese. Um, what is it? Yeah, there it is. A Portuguese stopper, which is a fabulous chicken design. Um, this is very similar to the kind of aesthetic you get out of Sweden, and my wife is a fan of of this, so I picked that up for her. I mean, she need, and she can stop her beers with it because occasionally she buys expensive beers that you can't drink all at once, the heavy high, high, alcohol, high alcohol content. Then we have a Night Eyes uh, pouch, which fits my phone perfectly. This clip rotates, so in case I want to use, it, use this, and it's got a magnetic flapper, which I happen to quite like, because I'm not a big fan of, of uh, Velcro, for the most part. Um, I got that for a buck. Uh, and we have a small tin, 
which has a pattern on the cover, which we're going to need to clean that up some so that the pattern is more easily discerned. And it's a nice shape, and it was a dollar at a yard sale. My wife likes these kind of things, and I have to all admit I find it aesthetically pleasing. Um, then we have two metal items here. This is a pulley and with a hook, and we already found a use for it. I bought it with like, oh, I'll find a use for it, and we pulled in the driveway, and I kept an idea for it for hanging a potted plant high up, and then being able to lower it down so we can water it and then raise it back up again. Um, and we had this very decorative hook. Don't know where to put it yet, but it was it was quite attractive, and I think I paid a I paid a dollar for both those pieces right there. Um, then we have a bunch of figures here. Um, spider, an octopus, um, a triceratops, a pangolin, which is a little unusual, um, a rhino, uh, a glow-in-the-dark dinosaur, polar bear, uh, a cougar, uh, an ankylosaur, and then those were all I picked up for nothing. I got those rolled into another purchase. And I paid, this is a pewter Santa, kind of a gnome type figure, and I paid a dollar for him. My wife's been in, into the gnome uh, aesthetic recently. I thought that was a cute little addition. And uh, sitting on this board, as it had looks, they look like playing pieces. We picked this. We got this for nothing from somebody's yard sale, and we're going to probably be thinking of framing it, hanging it in the wall, just because it's a nice design graphic. It's a good graphic design. Um, and you know, for a cost of a frame, we have more art. Um, I still need to do a video about the art in our house. I haven't done it yet because there's a couple of pieces we need to frame. We haven't done that yet, but I may just do it ahead of time. Because the most, because everything else is on the walls, so I don't know if I want to wait till the other two pieces get done. Um, okay, on to other things. And here we are in the final segment. We have a Christmas bear, which we got for nothing. It was at a yard sale; they were just giving it away as a beanie butt. My wife just could not bring that home. We're gonna use it as a Christmas decoration. Um, it's cute and um, costs nothing. And it's a bear, and my wife has a soft spot. Now, my wife uses a stuffed animal on her pillow in the bedroom to keep cats from sleeping on her pillow. And I thought, that's a really good idea. Then I was at a thrift shop, and I saw this guy, who's apparently called Muzzy. I didn't know who he was. Um, I thought of him as a moss man, which is what I refer to him. Uh, he was originally owned by Sarah H. And Sarah took awesome care of him because he is, like, brand new. And I discovered that this particular figure is no longer made... And I could actually sell him on eBay if I wanted to, even though I paid a buck for him. But I'm not going to. He's just going to sit on my pillow and keep cats from sleeping on it. And as soon as this is video is over, he's going to go to work. Um, I picked up this emergency kit from Rayovac. And they were asking $13.47 on the shelf, but I only paid $10.10. It was a discount at, um, at the at registered. So I'm like, woohoo! And what's good about this is this is a phone charger, but it runs off of double A batteries, which are darn near ubiquitous. And I mean, the batteries alone are probably worth almost 10 bucks. So I mean, I got cabling, got a flashlight. So I was really kind of impressed by this kit for only $10. Then um, I picked up two safety um, vests. And these are like actually decent quality. They're mesh, rubberized, nice reflective strap. And I got these for our car boots for our car trunks. Uh, I already have mine in the trunk. I'm going to give this to my wife. And it's, if you get stuck on a road, having this around so you are highly visible while you're working on your car can save your life. Um, I got two of these. They're magazine holders. And I use those for soft-bound role-playing games. And I picked up a bag of um, shop rags for $1.50. I got this. And I got two of those. Um, I got two sharpening stones. I have a small sharpening stone I really happen to like for handheld sharpening handheld sharpening but it's very small and is very very fine and this is a little bit rougher and this is a little bit rougher still and on this one um, they're they're both a little bit rougher than the stone I have and it's a bit a little bit larger so they're both in nice shape I'm probably gonna do a short video about how to clean these things so people can know how to maintain them um, but for just doing some simple hand sharpening I thought that was a, a good uh, Good options, and it cost me three bucks for both of the stones. Um, I picked up a small uh, giveaway swag um, gadget, which is a flashlight, a compass, and I believe a radio. I haven't hooked up a headphone yet to find out. Um, I thought that was kind of cute. Um, I'm probably going to just give that away once I do a review of it, but for 50 cents, it was kind of cool. And then I picked up this DeWalt 34 piece bit set, and what I really was interested in is this. 
it's a magnetic holder for holding the uh, fasteners while you're drilling. It also has a quick connect, and I quick quick disconnect there rather. Um, and I paid 750 for this, so I think that's really a, a a good deal for this this option. I mean, it's a lot of Phillips heads, and I'm not big on Phillips heads, but there's other bits in here like star drive bits and things like that. I really happen to like those. Um, then we have a Flashback 3 Atari Classic Game Console, which has 60 built-in games um, and harkens back to the old style, um, which I had when they were first introduced. And I picked this up at a yard sale for 5 bucks. It didn't have a uh, power um, adapter. I stopped at a surplus place on the way home from the yard sale and picked one up. So now I have a power for this thing. Um, then we have the Rad Sport Easy kayak hoist. My wife got a kayak recently and we were looking for something to store it and we were thinking we're going to hook this up in the basement for basement storage in the winter and then we'll keep it in the garage in the summertime. Um, then we have a small grater. I find myself in need recently for a small grater with a handle and I picked that up for a buck at um, a flea market. And then this is a Utica Tool yeah maybe I'll see that. Utica Tool um, all steel USA uh, adjustable wrench and it's just in it's in wonderful shape it's got a great patina and the old man was quite charming who, who used to own it and last but not least a big soft comfy um towel we got on sale with octopus on it my love wife loves octopus well so do i and it's always nice to have a bath or a, or a, a beach towel you can keep that kind of thing in your car if you want um, so there you go folks it's a fairly wide spectrum of items in this time but there's some cool stuff here and I just realized when I was about to download this footage onto my computer, I forgot these two items. Um, this is a Barlow folding knife from Sabre. It's a pretty decent shape. I got it at a thrift shop for $5. I'm not positive, but I think the scales may be Bakelite. I'm not really sure. I have to do a little research. And this is from Carville Hill? Carville Hill? Um, which apparently they do a lot of cutlery. So this may be some kind of over-the-top steak knife. I'm not positive. It's really heavy. It's very, very heavy, but it's got a nice shape and um, I will probably make it my steak knife. I use when I eat steak. Um, I will eventually have reviews of these two items. Um, I need This one needs a little bit of honing. This one needs, needs a lot of honing. But uh, yeah, these are the last two items. Thank you! We were on our way to the hardware store so to find something to hang this on the wall on the porch. And we discovered this plate hanger, which is going to work just perfect after I snip off the end so they're not so large. But on the way there, we stopped at a yard sale and picked up a very colorful skirt for my wife. And this bag for me, because I, I have got a bag recently and I like the size, but it's a little sweaty because it's plastic. This is not plastic and I can do a crossbody on this with a nice long strap made in Nepal. Um, so. I'm going to give that a try, and I may find I like this one better. Um, and we found this at uh, Michael's. So my wife stopped there to pick up some stones for her gnome project, which you will find out in sometime in the near future. And we, she needs to build a new uh, hatch cover for her kayak. So we're going to cut an oval here. And it will already have a pull in it. So you put the oval in, and then we're going to make a seal for it so that it, it'll stay in place on the on the kayak and uh, be waterproof but uh this is gonna make uh this is gonna make that job a whole lot easier and if the whole board was only three bucks